Hi guys, today we will gonna be making custom chip bags with a little twist, adding QR code. If you have watched my previous video, it went viral and now I have a client that wants me to make a chip bag with his business logo. So this is our template. First, we're gonna insert our photo. We will gonna go to our photos, photo library, hit upload, and select from our select a photos from our photo library. We will gonna set our photo as our background. So this time, it's going to be the whole page. I get this idea when he asked me if I can change the picture from birthday to his business logo. When he sent me his business card, I thought, and it has QR code on it. I told him I can generate QR code and include it on the design. Now I'll be making a sample for you for my business logo. He asked me if I can set it as a whole background for his business logo. So I tried it in this one. So you just pretty much stretch it. And as you can see the nutrition facts is still at the back. So we're going to set it as position and send to back for our background. We're going to set it as a background in that way. The nutrition facts will be visible. So we're just going to align them. I just did this logo in Canva app too, in this app. So this is just for the video purpose. So we're gonna go to position, click backwards and to back. And that way you can see the, the nutrition facts will show up. And I wanted to make a space on top for the lace brand. That's why I'm dragging it down. And then you can make, you can choose an elements on here too. So you can choose your social media accounts. It's either Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, push marks, and whatever. So I might just use Instagram and YouTube for now. So I'm gonna hit elements and put Instagram logo in it. Then adjust it, whatever size you want, or wherever you want to put on the design. It's up to you. So we're gonna have YouTube now. So just go and search and try to find YouTube. You can have, you can pick and choose like lots of YouTube logos on there. So we're just, just gonna resize it and then Put it on the back side. To change the thank you message to. So instead of thank you for coming. So we're going to put thank you for your purchase. Because this is for business chip bags. You 
you can put whatever you want on there. Now that we're satisfied of our elements, we're just gonna align them or you can place whatever you want. So I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna make it smaller and that way I can have space for my QR code. We all know that millennials has their phone with them all the time. So QR code is the best option. If you get Instagram or YouTube video, just attach the QR code in there. Anywhere at the back. QR code is providing smartphone users with information quickly and simply. It's a quick response code with just one scan. So to get our QR code on Instagram, you just simply go to your profile. On the upper right here, click the three lines and then click QR code and then save it to your photo library. So it's gonna be in our photo library now. So we're gonna go back to Canva, hit photo and Click upload. We're gonna upload our QR code from our Instagram. So it's gonna be from our, it's gonna be on our photo library now. So we're just gonna crop it. It's the new one in Instagram that they already had uh, QR code generated already. So you don't have to copy their link and or the URL and generate it. It's already generated under your settings. So we're we'll just gonna adjust it and then put it underneath our Instagram element or beside it. On the next step, I will be teaching you how to generate QR code from anywhere. So you can pretty much generate QR code from your business website, YouTube links, or Facebook link. Now we're gonna try our YouTube link. So it's the same thing, you're just going to go to your profile, go to your channel and click whatever video you want. So I'm, I choose this one for my chip bag and then go to your QR code maker app and then add the code. So we're going to name it as chip bag and then paste your URL and then hit generate and then save it to gallery so it will save on your photos so it's the same thing you're just gonna go back to your Canva app go back to your photos hit upload and upload your QR code from the one that had the one that you saved from your photo library and then click add then attach it so you can adjust it way smaller then I I decided to put it underneath my YouTube element this is just a sample of how we generate QR code.
so if you get any questions just hit the comment below feel free to ask and I will answer you right away now we're gonna be putting our lace brand so our chips were gonna be lace so I decided to put lace again I'm gonna put it on top and then we're just gonna align it and then we're gonna take out the instruction guides so we don't want it to show up when we print it up so we're gonna take it all out and the only thing we're gonna leave is our design our logos our QR codes the nutrition facts and The elements so we'll take it out we'll clean it up and that way it won't show up when we print it if you have watched my previous video you'll probably know how to edit everything now you want more templates I can still send you templates so we're just gonna save our design and then print it so it's the same thing we're using brochure paper now we will gonna assemble our chips so we need chips I already printed out the paper so my printer is Epson 2720 and I use brochure paper from Staples. I use permanent glue and the small chips we had and I use Friskar scissors. I'm gonna post the materials below at the, in the description. And my previous um, video, I'm going to post it down below. So, if you want to know what materials I used, just hit the, just read the description below. And everything will be on there. So we were going to cut off the excess with our Frisco scissors and that's pretty much it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. It will help my channel grow and I'm going to update you more about my chip bags if I get another ideas. I'm going to show you on my next video. Now I will try to scan our code. I'll be using my husband phone because he don't have Instagram. So to scan our barcode, just hit the photo. We'll see if it's working. And yes, it's working. So it directs me into my Instagram profile. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.